It's only the first day of the Labour Party conference and things are already chaotic for Keir Starmer as the anti-Jewish voices rise inside the Labour Party. Hello everybody, welcome to 2CTV. Let's talk about the Labour Party conference. It's the first official day in Liverpool and all the socialists are gathering with their Palestinian flags, the Hamas signs, even some with the pro Hezbollah signs outside the conference, giving out leaflets, causing trouble for Keir Starmer. So there are issues outside the conference zone, but there are also issues inside the secure zone of the conference. This is the actual official Labour Party, because you know what happens outside the conference is kind of irrelevant to the actual official leadership. They could just deny that they are members. But what happens inside? Slightly different. Uh, different. So this is Keir Starmer's face, like that. He's trying to be prime minister. But this is what's happening at Labour Party conference. We've got uh, so on the outside, you have a number of people, as and spreading and distributing leaflets, uh, anti-Israel leaflets, uh, and that's just their point of view. They don't like Israel. One of our allies, democratic uh, liberal society in the Middle East. But fair enough. But one issue that we're currently facing is what's happening inside the conference zone. Absama Begum, one of the hard-left communist MPs of the Labour Party, who somehow is still around, uh, and one of the um, parts of the pet project of uh, Jeremy Corbyn at the time, uh, they, there, is a, there are a number of, obviously, stands and uh, sections uh, in, uh, inside the Labour conference uh, which is dedicated to either supporting Palestine, but then when you read the details, it's a little bit anti-Jewish, uh, or just proactively anti-Israel. There are also a number of other areas that supports the Islamic Republic of Iran against the pro-freedom Iranians. Uh, I don't understand why the Labour Party are so obsessed with uh, uh, other countries' affairs rather than actually thinking about what's happening in this country. But uh, that's just normal. That always happens every single year. It's like a Tory conference and their obsession with corporations. <laughs> so um, things are already difficult for Keir Starmer, but also Angela Rayner because early today, Angela Rayner, as a deputy leader of the party, made the big speech. She talked about housing. Very interesting. And a number of other issues. Uh, she made some jokes against the Tories. In the middle of the speech, uh, she was heckled. And a, a, a protester decided to uh, crash the stage. Yeah, the party seems to be extremely united and prepared for forming a government against the Conservatives. <laughs> if you think the Tories are bad, look at the state of the Labour Party. Now, let's talk about one of the events uh, that um, Keir Starmer is currently under pressure. She, he's been challenged to shut down the events like this. Uh, so this is this year's conference uh, on Monday, the 9th of October, that's tomorrow, 11 a.m., Hall 2D. Uh, and there's going to be an event called uh, as a panel what a labor government should mean for Palest palestinians rights and then in the description it says israel's far right government <laughs> i don't think they know what far right means far right government is driving a worsening health and human rights crisis oh really okay deepening annexations and enabling the settler blah 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 join us to hear guest speakers ooh, from parliament and civil society to discuss how a labor government could help i mean again a labor government will be better off helping the people of our country but clearly they have different priorities now there was also another event which is on tuesday the 10th of october at 7 30 pm and that is the annual palestine reception so they're gonna get drunk um to celebrate palestine they're gonna have wine and beer probably some drugs in the background <laughs> and all the queers with the lgbt rainbow flags supporting palestine i don't think you can have that annual reception in palestine keir starmer so it says, we are delighted to invite you to the annual Palestine reception. Oh, so lovely. Who's speaking there, by the way? Oh, yes. David Lammy. Of course, David Lammy is going to be speaking there. Um, and a few others as well. You've got uh, the Palestinian ambassador uh, who has uh, been having a meltdown on live TV today, even though it was the Hamas side that attacked Israel first. But anyway, <laughs> all that aside... Um, Jeremy Corbyn is missing, obviously. 
Um, not because he's gone to another funeral with his friends with at the Hamas and Hezbollah, uh, present but not involved. Uh, he's missing because he's independent now. So he's actually going to potentially stand against S. Sadiq Khan and divide the left wing vote. So that's going to be lovely to see as well. But the chair, the national chair of the Jewish Labour Party, so the, the Jewish group inside the Labour Party said, let's be clear. If you are celebrating the murder of civilians or you are not condemning you know, the terrorists and everything else, that there is nothing progressive about you or your organization. He also said that the violence in Israel is horrific and must be condemned in the strongest possible terms. The association of Labour MPs with these comments and the hosting of this event at Labour conference is deeply concerning. The Labour Party should immediately review their relationship with these organizations and cancel the event. Yes, as I said earlier, the Labour Party seemed absolutely united as a family and ready to form a new government.